Hey there, white belts with two black stripes. It's time for us to practice the last set of our curriculum so that we can earn our third and final black stripe. Once you feel like you've got your karate self-defense movements down, you guys will be ready to do your test and earn that yellow belt. So let's do a quick review of those self-defenses right now. Find a partner, someone to work with, and they're gonna be the one attacking you. Remember, the attacker does one aya, and the defender does two ayas, one as they break free from the attacker, and then another yell as they execute their counter attack. So I'll be working with Miss Stephanie. I'll be taking the role of the big scary bad guy. So I'll be doing the one yell. Miss Stephanie's the defender, doing two yells. So let's go ahead, find your partner, face them, chedi position, give them a bow, showing respect. All right, the first attack, and uh, families, if you're following along at home, you wanna make sure that your attack looks just like my attack. We're gonna reach out, we're gonna grab them by the wrist. I can grab Miss Stephanie's wrist here, or I can grab Miss Stephanie's wrist here. Either one will work. Students should be able to adapt to any kind of attack that comes their way. So what's gonna happen is, uh, once you get grabbed on the wrist, students, you're gonna take your hand, you're gonna do the circle block. You're either gonna circle block this way, or you're gonna circle block this way. Either way, your hand is drawing a circle, one way or the other. And the way we decide which way to go is where is the thumb. So real quick, I'll do a little timeout here. Miss Stephanie, can you grab my wrist? So I'm looking down and I, you can see that on this side of my arm is where her thumb is. On this side of the arm, that's where her fingers are. If I try to go the wrong way, if I try to circle towards her fingers, I, I ain't going anywhere. But as soon as I circle towards my, her thumb, it's gonna break her grip, she's gonna let go. All right, and if she grabs with the other hand maybe, then I'm looking. Now I can't go that way anymore because that's the side with her fingers, I gotta go towards the thumb, all right? No matter how big the guy is who's attacking you, if you go towards their thumb, you'll be able to break free. So let's do a few practices. And number one, I'm attacking Miss Stephanie, she's gonna break free, and she's gonna follow up with the knife hand chop as the counter attack, ready? Aya! Aya! Aya. Just like that. Let's do it again. Ready? Go. Aya. 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 Nicely done. You'll see Miss Stephanie's putting that chop right underneath my ear. If she were to hit me for real, whew, I'd be in trouble. But she's doing it fast, but stopping before she hits me. That's the correct way to do that counter attack. Ready? Go. Aya. 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 Just like that. All right, let's go on to number two. I'm going to grab her by the shirt. She's going to bring her hands up. Bring them together, hands come down right onto the crux of the attacker's elbow. Then she's gonna pull her hand back just a little bit so that she can do a good back fist, using the back of her fist to strike the side of the attacker's head. Okay, so let's do that one real quick. I'm gonna grab her, and uh, attackers were grabbing with one hand right in the middle of the chest, like this. Ready? Aya! 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 Very nicely done. It doesn't really matter whether you use your right hand for the back fist or your left hand for the back fist. Just choose one and go for it. Let's do it again, ready? Go, aya! Aya, aya! Nicely done, let's do one more time. I'm gonna attack with the same arm. Miss Stephanie, let me have you do the back fist with the other hand so the camera can see you hitting me on the side of the head, ready? Get set, aya! Aya, aya! Just like that, okay? Excellent, we've done one, we've done two. Now we gotta do number three, that's the wave. This is probably my favorite one. A lot of people say it's their favorite one too. Our hand is gonna come up, gonna go over one arm, under the other, almost like my hand is like a sewing needle, okay? Over, under, or a wave, Just going like that. Either way, I do that part, then my hands come together, and I make a big circle. I push, because I'm breaking free, yeah! And after that gets done, I use my hand to execute the ridge hand, hitting the guy on the side of the head. So a real quick uh, reminder, self-defense number one, knife hand, number two, back fist, and then number three, ridge hand, okay? Three different counterattacks. So we'll do this one slow so you guys can watch how it goes. I'm gonna grab Miss Stephanie with two hands. Now I can either grab her by the collar or I can put my hands on her shoulders. Either way works fine. Okay, ready, go. Aya! 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 Nicely done. Let's do that again. Ready? And go. Aya! 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 Nicely done. We're going to do it one more time. 
We're going to really break it down because I want to make sure that we're all getting all the little tiny details right. So I want you to do it the same time that we do it and just follow along. We'll go real slow. I do the grab. She does the hand up, then over one arm, under the other. Her hands come together. And when her hands come together, she's going to take her right foot. That's the side that went up and over originally. Her right foot's going to step back. That's going to help her get some momentum. She's going to twist her shoulders as she throws my hands out of the way. Once I'm here, now she's ready to use that right hand to swing her shoulders back around. Ooh, catch me with that rage hand. OK? Remember, every time that we do these moves, we want to execute the moves out, or I should say, execute the counterattacks out, but without making contact. OK? Later on, when you guys get to be orange belts, green belts, purple belts, that's when you guys get to put on the pads, and then you guys get to practice hitting each other. For right now, I want you guys to execute without making contact. That's the way I want it for both white and yellow belts. And I think a lot of you guys are getting awfully close towards doing that yellow belt test. If you feel like you're ready, let me know. We can schedule our little test and get you a virtual belt. Great work today, everybody, and we'll see you next week.